False start. It breaks my heart in a thousand little places to watch educators lower their fickle expectations. I don't want to paint all teachers in a negative light. I taught for eight years. I gave it my life. One of the most awkward parts of teaching is giving a test after half of the class finishes. Then it's basically nap time for the kids who didn't sleep last night. And it's I don't know how to act right for the kids who can't sit still. And that's fine. But overheard in the teacher's lounge last week, she said, he's as cute as a puppy dog. But you can't teach a puppy to read. Who am I to cast the first stoned student in F? What have I taught if the kid I caught cheating on my final exam is already failing and I fail him again? When he drops out, if he goes to jail, we both get to say, I told you so. But who failed whom? Did he fail the test or did I fail him? Sometimes, y'all, I get a handful of amped up pupils who would love to be made examples of. And truthfully, I'm in the mood to prove myself the alpha above the bully. But then I lose my temper and I say, nobody believes your excuses but you. So if you really hate school, when I try to pass this class before you have to repeat the 10th grade again, and as soon as those words act accidentally slip I can immediately see the damage they did so I'm sorry kid here's your grade it's a cinder block tied to the ankle of your GPA hopefully next semester we both do better we receive the grades we earned so here the F that I deserve 